Welcome guys. In this video, we are still talking about the Guna button. So as you have seen that when the button size changes, the border radius changes also. So guys, I'd like you to take note on the property border radius as highlighted to your right. I'm going to resize the button. Right now the current value is 50. But see what happens to the value when I resize the button. It changes to 23. Why? Because the auto rounded corners property is set to true and Guna will automatically compute the correct values so that the border radius is set to rounded corners. So we can customize this value. For example, we can type 10, press enter, and as you can see, the border radius is updated to reflect our current changes. Let's change to border thickness to 1 or let's set 2 so that we can see better right. So the border radius is automatically computed by the control but at the same time we can customize the result. We can customize accordingly to suit our user interface. Another feature I want to talk about is the button mode. This is one of the useful features if you want to use group buttons, for example. So what is button mode? Well, button mode is when you allow Guna to shift your default button into another useful mode. For example, it can be a radio button or a toggle button. So let's start by talking about the radio button. So what is a radio button? As you all know, a radio button is just a control that is in a group of its kind whereby only one control is selectable. For example, if you have several Guna buttons, let's set this we have several Guna buttons and let's Let's change the auto-rounded corners to false and all buttons are set to this mode, radio button. Let's run the application and see the result. Remember, the button is set in radio button mode and this is a group of buttons. When we select one button we cannot select it again and you cannot see any animated features because the button is now acting as a radio button and is in a group of its kind only one button is selectable we can select the remaining three not the already selected button as you can see we can select the remaining three but the selected button cannot be re-selected because it acts as a radio button. So in what scenarios can we use this feature? In some cases, you may want only one button to be selected, say in a group of options. Let's say you are in a group of options and we have a label in this label we want the user to select only one option let's change this text select only one option and we have several options Let's change button 1 text to option 1. 
let's change this to option 2 the third button will represent the third option and the fourth button will represent the fourth option let's give it a bit of style let's give it a bit of style the fill color let's change the fill color to something like this and let's run the project so in this instance we want the user to select only one option either option one two three or four we can use the guna button and set it to radio button and allow the user to select only one option so in cases where you want users to to select one option this is the best button to use in this instance it works the selected option will remain selected and you cannot select two buttons at the same time so this is the amazing feature that we have that we can use button mode what if we change the button mode of our buttons from radio button to toggle button let's delete this text and let's run to see what happens now unlike radio buttons we can select all the buttons we can select one or more buttons as you can see here the already selected buttons can be unselected or deselected so in what scenarios can we use this feature well let's bring up our label let's say we want to present users with multiple options select your options in this case we can allow the user to select more than one option according to their preference say option 2 and option 4 and then we capture the values so remember they can also deselect any of the options and make another option let's say option 2 and 4 they make up their mind no they want option 3 as well it's added and this time they do not want option 4 so the result will be option 2 and option 3 selected so remember these modes that you find in the button as we have talked or discussed the default button acts as a default button with extended features the radio button only one button is selectable in a group and the toggle button more than one button can be selected in a group so thank you so much guys next video we're going to be talking about the check state and other properties